So I'm Olivia from Avesha. I'm the VP of Product UX and uh, Marketing, and very pleased to have Ari with me here. Ari, if you want to introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Ari Weil. Uh, I'm from Akamai Technologies. I run our cloud and uh, security product marketing. It's really loud. <laughs> Well, thank you, Kubernetes on um, Edge enthusiasts, and uh, we are excited. We won't keep you long. We'll try to go. I know this is the last last one of the day. Um, so we're going to talk about no code migration uh, of workloads to retail Edge for the lowest costs and the best performance. And who else to hear from? We have Akamai. They are one of the largest footprints of uh, CDN and Edge, um, and so very excited to to bring this to you. Uh, I'll start off with the challenge that we often see, um, and it's high costs and latency when you have your workloads only in centralized clouds. And so that's why the edge, right? We, we've been hearing all the talks um, since afternoon. So here we are focusing on retail, but this can be applied to any workloads. But how can these workloads migrate easily uh, to the end users, I mean, to the customers at the edge, so that you get better performance, you get lower costs. And with that, I will hand it over to Ari to. Great, thank you. So I wanted to walk you through a really quick example of how one of our customers was able to take advantage of Akamai's Edge platform and our cloud platform together and not only improve the performance for their web and mobile applications, but also simplify the operations of them. And they facilitated that using Kubernetes as sort of the, the way to migrate off of a centralized cloud platform and really co-locate all of their compute and delivery infrastructure on Akamai's cloud platform. Um, what you can see here are some of the outcomes that they had, so we just wanted to include a little bit of context for you. We accelerated the mobile app by 18% when we were optimizing it on our platform. We included a 25% faster, last contentful paint. So when you look at the actual user experience, it gives the perception of a faster page load time when you look at last contentful paint as your key metric. Uh, and they were actually able to create $160,000 more revenue per day when they implemented this, especially on their mobile site. And so we wanted to walk you through the reference architecture for how they did it. So if we look at the next slide, Akamai's platform is typically regarded as a CDN with edge computing capabilities. We've got a number of different security capabilities that we also bring to simplify bot operations and separate bots from real users so that we can optimize content for the actual users that are coming to the website. But recently, with the addition of our cloud computing platform, we've been managing compute primitives on our backbone as well. And so getting the co-location of your compute infrastructure together with where you deliver an experience and optimize the front end means that you can facilitate a much much easier DevOps experience for your deployment engineers, but it also has the benefit of everything running on the same global backbone, and so you get better performance of your compute infrastructure to your delivery infrastructure to anything that you might be doing from a transformation perspective. Now, we use a partner called Macrometa that has a global delivery network, and they have their code hosted in containerized platform in a containerized platform in Kubernetes. What they basically have is a machine learning platform that optimizes front-end application code. It was uh, historically deployed on a hyperscaler, and in order to improve the performance of it for their users, they started to deploy their infrastructure on Akamai. So they migrated their Kubernetes stack over to Akamai and ran their clusters and scaled them on our platform for each of the customers that are deploying one of the front-end optimization solutions. And then they keep the rest of the cloud origin for the rest of the e-commerce services, personalization services, et cetera, in the centralized cloud because the frequency of callback is less frequent. So if we look at basically what that meant for them is if you consider where you're migrating services from a hyperscaler to a cloud like ours, it basically is going to bridge across the container service. So if you think about the container registry on a Microsoft Azure, for example, versus where we have our managed Kubernetes service, an application platform that we're announcing here at the show today, but then also just the ability to host and, and manage containers anywhere that Akamai has our global footprint distributed, we gave our customers the options to centralize uh, all of their code on open source Kubernetes instead of the specialized and proprietary versions that they would normally have with all of the operational overhead, the specific uh, wrappers and the other services that they have to take advantage of on the cloud, so they have a more streamlined open source offering. And then we were able to manage all of the scaling and all of the interconnectivity between what runs in the containers and what runs on the edge by co-locating everything on Akamai's distributed cloud. Now, 
the one thing that the customer wished they had at the time was a way to really simplify how to understand those scaling events and where they needed to scale the containers as well as where the inefficiencies were. And that's where I think Avacia really offers a huge value. Yeah, yeah, thank you, uh, Ari. So what we have is a construct called Cube Slice, which is clearly a, a layer three connectivity. Um, it's an open VPN secure connectivity across clouds, across clusters. And when we talk about an easy way to migrate your some of your workloads uh, onto an Akamai Edge or any Edge from the hyperscaler clouds, this has proven to be a very automated and easy way of doing it. Uh, one thing that when we were working with the cloud architects in Akamai, they kept emphasizing, and I have some quotes in here, they said it's magic, because you require literally no change to the application code when you use CubeSlice to do this partial or gradual migration. And um, what's key in here is that you can retain connectivity to all the services, the managed services that you love in the uh, centralized clouds, you know, whether it's Cosmos, DB, Redis. And in this particular use case where we worked with Akamai, so there was this connectivity that was maintained with both Redis and Cosmos DB. And our slice component has this slice gateway that easily maintains that communication and that connectivity uh, from the services that have moved to an edge to uh, the services that, the managed services that are remaining um, that you don't want to move out of uh, in the centralized clouds. And it, it's, it's a very, again, emphasizing on the easy way of doing it. It's just uh, what the CubeSlice technology does is it literally makes the services that are remaining, it makes it available as if they are in one network domain, as if they are sitting next to uh, the other edge services. And we do that through, again, simple YAML files, simple service exports. You can mention you know, the service export Y and N, and all, all the, the magic happens underneath. Uh, so why would we move services to the edge? Ari mentioned about um, personal, personalization service, I mean, uh, experiences, you know. As uh, ladies, when we shop, we like those personalized experience when we uh, from e-commerce platforms. So what are the benefits of moving to the edge, Ari, from an... Well, I mean, lower latency is certainly a benefit. Also, we're uh, increasingly privacy and data privacy specifically are important location specificity when you have the ability to define specifically where you want to deploy a workload and where you want to manage all of the data and compute resources is important. And on an open platform, you can make sure that you're avoiding all of the rewrites and the proprietary lock-in of the services that are not open source. And one of the things that we've really prized at Akamai where we really uh, also encourage uh, the partner ecosystem that we've been developing to focus is maintaining that connection with the CNCF and with the open source community so that you can provide developers with the choice to use the right service for their workload instead of the convenient resource that you build out on your own platform. Right, and, and again, using CubeSlice as a platform, the benefits are, again, no change to application code. It's a seamless, secure connectivity, and you can start your migration process immediately and minimal downtime to your applications. So we are a CNCF uh, sandbox project. The CubeSlice has been donated to CNCF, and um, it's that overlay network that, is, that does the magic of migration for you. Um, and that is all we have time for. Here are some more um, information. Are you, is there something you want to point out from here? No, I mean, I think if you want to visit us, we were at uh, booth B2 down in the expo hall. We've got representatives all throughout the show. We'd love to talk to you about a workload or a consideration that you might have with your current cloud provider.